I'm Tyler. I'm the lead site reliability engineer here at Peloton. Uh, one of the things that really uh, is exciting for us is how passionate our users are for the product and for the bike and for the tread and for everything else. And so it's really critical that it's available. Like if you get up in the morning, you want your bike to be there for you. And we view it as an extension of us being available for our customers and, and being successful for our members. One of the, the, the really key challenges for us is as we roll out new features, um, some of these things will like cross our platform many different ways. Uh, and they may have different types of impact across various pieces of our API. Yeah, I think the fact that there's a hardware component does make it like a very unique challenge for us. When you're testing just on a local machine or developers doing local testing, they can't really simulate the real impact of having many things happen, at, uh, many events happen at scale. And so, what you'll see is that like uh, users will have like a degraded experience. Like things may not work. Um, you may see like slow response times, increased latency that like will actually impact the user experience. Uh, so one of the values of being able to scale uh, elastically is we're able to actually both simulate that experience and also like see what happens when there is a failure. We can like scale our systems down and actually test to see if those things would happen at different load levels. It's very simple for us to actually just go spin up a, a duplicate of our entire environment, um, see what um, new features would look like running there at different types of scale, at different times of day, um, and actually drive testing traffic to that in isolation from our other environments, which has been really critical for us. And, achieving success at testing new features, um, as well as testing our, our entire integrated stack as a whole. If we didn't have Amazon Web Services, it would be very difficult for us to actually do this testing. If you were trying to do this, say, in a data center or just like locally, um, you'd have to spend a lot of time like manually managing servers and resources that like you could spend on your development time. Uh, you'd also have like, it'd be very difficult to replicate some of the development environments we have uh, on demand. And so we'd spend a lot of time actually managing those different configurations.